Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to discuss binary search step 2 problem C. Very easy task. So the problem basically says you have a document and you have to print n more copies of it so that there will be total n plus 1 document at last. And you have two printers. One of the printer takes x second and another one take y second. And you are allowed to print from both the printers. Which means initially you have one original document after printing one copy of it you will be having two documents basically then you can simultaneously print from both the printers so you have to basically tell what will be the minimum time it will take to print n copies of this document and you are free to use the printers however you want so you receive three integers n x and y n is the number of copies you want to print x and y is the respective time of both the printers which they take to print one copy. Now we have to print one integer that is minimum time required to print these n copies. So here we are given 411. Basically 4 is the total copies we want to print and 1 1 second is the time both the printers take to print one copy each. So we can see for 4 copies initially we will print one copy which will take one second. After that, we will be having two documents basically, one is original and one is copy. And now we will use both the printers to print two copies which will take one second and one more copy from either of the printer which will again take one second. So we in total require three seconds to print these four copies. The other example is 512 which basically means we have to print five copies. First printer take one second, the second printer takes two seconds. So initially, we will print one copy from the first printer which will take one second. Now we have two copies so that we can print simultaneously from both the printers. So it will take two more seconds to print two copies from first printer and one copy from the second printer. Now we have printed four copies. One more copy is required. So we will choose the first printer to print this copy so that it will take one second. So the total amount of time taken is 4 seconds. So this is the problem. Now let's come to the explanation. One thing to note over here is, if you are able to figure out any problem is a binary search, then it becomes quite easy to solve it. The main thing is to identify if that problem belongs to the binary search section or it can be solved using binary search or not. So how we identify if this problem is a binary search problem or not? See. We know one thing that in zero second we cannot print anything. Since in the problem it is given that you have to print at least one copy and either of the printer take at least one second. So in zero second you cannot print anything. So it means in zero second you are sure that you cannot print anything. So basically your answer will be false. But there will be some very big time in which you can assure that you can print all of these n copies. So let me ask you, you have to print n copies and the two printer takes x and y time respectively for printing each of the copy. Now let me ask you if we have to find the maximum time, then we have to consider the maximum of these both. I mean the printer which takes more time to print one copy. Let's say the x is greater than y in this case and you want to print all these n copies from this particular printer only. So it will gonna take x into n time. But it is sure that in at most this time, you can surely print all these n copies. Now, since we know that it will take maximum max of x, y into n time to print all of these n copies, so here it is true. True means you can print all of these n copies and here it is false. And you can see somewhere in between these two points, it has surely changed from F to T. Let's say this is the point. So this is the minimum value of time which we require to print all of these n copies. Since after this, it is true for every greater value to print all these n copies. But just at this point, it was false, which means we cannot print in this time. But just at this time, which is just greater than this one, we are able to print all of these n copies. 
so we have to find this time and one thing which is important is this is a contiguous section like a contiguous range you are going from 0 to max x y into n in a contiguous manner so you will surely gonna find this transition somewhere in between these two points that's why we can use binary search over here so after discussing this thing we are sure that binary search is to be applied on time as we can see from this thing this is nothing but time so if we have to apply binary search on time then we want a boolean value or true or false value whether we are able to print all of these n copies in that much of time or not which is quite simple to answer let me tell you how to answer this question whether in a given time we can print all of these n copies from the printers that we are given with x and y respective time for printing each copies we can simply use a greedy approach initially we have this one document which is original and we will print one more document from it from the printer having minimum time of both like min of x y so this first document will take min of x y time now let's say we have this t parameter in which we want to ask whether we can print n elements or not so after printing this element we are left with t minus min of this time and the total count of copies we have printed so far is 1 now we can use both the printers simultaneously to print remaining elements or rather see it as in this remaining time what are the total number of documents we can further print out of both the printer if they work simultaneously since we have two copies to work with so if we say this time is rm or remaining time then the printer one can print rm by x document basically the floor of it and the second printer can print rm by y floor of it actually so the total documents we can print in this time is this value plus this value plus one and if this total count is greater than equal to n then this function basically returns true that we can print n documents in this much of time otherwise it returns false so that's all we need to solve this problem now let's jump to the code so as given in the problem firstly we will take an x y as our input now as we discussed in our explanation our range will be from 0 to max of x y star n now let us first write our boolean function let's name it is it possible basically which means is it possible to print n copies in the given time here t is the given time and we will also give n x and y to this function now if this given time is smaller than min of x y we can simply return false in that case otherwise what the least we can do is we can always have print this one copy and the time we are left after that is t minus min of this x y as we discussed earlier now with this remaining time we can print more t by x and t by y copies from both the printers and if this count is greater or equal to n we return true otherwise we return false now our bool function is completed now let's write the binary search logic so as we did in the earlier problems we will have a while loop until l plus 1 is smaller than r then we will find mid and if this is possible is true for this mid value we can do r equal to mid also we didn't discussed in the explanation but now i think it's quite obvious which it basically means if this is true then we have to search in the left section and otherwise we will search in the right section so after the loop breaks we have to print the r value as we also discussed in the explanation since this right side contains true value and the left contain false so we'll print r in this as well now let's check for the given example 441 
and we can see it gives 3 as the output and for 5, 1, 2, the output is 4. Now let's submit it in code forces. And as we can see, it got accepted. So that's it. I hope you got the explanation. And if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.